Hey folks, it's Ben Capozzi, the Main Street Gardener, getting ready to plant my 28th apple tree. I got Lillian here over my shoulder. We're hanging out under the magnolia tree, but we're on our way over to another part of the yard where we're going to plant an Aunt Rachel apple tree, which is pretty cool. All right, here's my Aunt Rachel apple tree. I grafted this myself. I did it uh, earlier this year, back in, looks like March 18th. March 18th, sorry, uh, April 18th, grafted it onto Antonovka rootstock. So it's Antonovka all the way up to here. And right there, it's beautiful. You can see the graft. And I use a special tool that takes out like this omega shape so that it makes two very uh, well-fitting pieces that go together. Um, this little chunk right here was the original stick. You know, it's only what, three fingers uh, across, three fingers in breadth. Uh, with uh, some good buds on it but um, it did all this growth uh, it's actually about to I think it's at least uh, it's about two feet I'd say but um, that's pretty impressive but this tree is uh, Aunt Rachel and uh, there's a very brief mention of it in uh, Old Southern Apples uh, Lee Calhoun's book there is no story to this apple no one knows the history of it or if they do, they're not talking about it, and if they did, they took the story behind this apple with them to their grave. So nobody knows anything about this apple, except it produces a very tasty, very good, very solid uh, early summer apple. Uh, you can get an apple in June or July, so if you just watched my last video on the 27th apple tree I planted, that's a yellow transparent. So Aunt Rachel should go very well right next to it. So I'm going to put it in that hole over there and they'll be not 10 or 12 feet apart. So let's get this girl in the ground. All right, so there is our Aunt Rachel early, early apple tree in the ground. And of course it won't bear for a few years from now, but uh, happy to have it on our property and look forward to enjoying those apples.